I've been planning on doing a piston video for a while, but I've been waiting till I felt I had enough things to show. I'm going to be going through these and showing mainly what they do and possibly giving a short explanation of them. For the most part, I won't be showing the redstone involved. This is because I'll be including a link in the description where you can download this map. That way, if you want to see how things are made or just try them out, you can. Also, although almost all of the things I'm going to be showing you are stuff I've come up with, there are a few where I got the idea for it elsewhere, but came up with my own way of doing it. And even though you've probably seen a few of the things I'm going to be showing you before, hopefully you'll see a few new things that you'll find useful. First, we have locking chests. As you can see, I can open them. But if we flip the switch, pistons move, pushing a block onto it and locking it. Flip it back and it unlocks it again. The way I did this is using stairs. Since from the front they look the same as a wooden plank, but they allow you to still access a chest. This requires a monostable circuit, but overall it's pretty simple to make. Over here, I have a simpler version, if that's too complex for you, using two buttons. This one is very simple to wire up. One button activates the left piston and locks the chest. The other button activates the opposite piston and unlocks the chest. Again, I use stairs. Over here is something you've probably seen before, but I figured I'd include it anyway. A hidden door. You place a torch there, the door opens, allowing you to get into a hidden base or of some sort. Remove the torch, and the doors close. Over here I've built a cascading piston lava bridge. When you press the button, pistons rise up, pushing up the stone, and cascade behind you as you run across. Over to the side, I built an above ground version without the lava, so you can easily see what's going on. Over here, we have an execution chamber. Open the door, place someone or something inside, close the door, and press the button. Back here, you can see how it works. Pressing the button, pulls the piston out, which is a sticky piston, therefore pulling the stone, and they drop down in the lava. Here we have a diner style table. That also doubles as a floor. Again, I've built an above ground version so you can see how it works. Here's an escalator. for the lazy. People who can't be bothered walking upstairs. I've also built a couple piston door designs. Fairly simple. Here we have a hidden trap door. You place a torch there it destroys the torch and opens the trap door. Which brings me to my elevator. I've actually built a couple elevators which I'll be showing. This one works pretty well. Here I've built a simple cobblestone generator. If you flip the switch, it starts it. Over here I've placed a flow of water. What you can do with this is turn on the cobblestone generator, drop down into the water, and start mining. Set something on your mouse button or use a macro, and you can automatically mine a bunch of cobblestone very easily without ever having to move. In one of my previous videos, I showed a redstone combination lock design I came up with. 
Although I had a few complaints that using levers, if you set your combination, the door would open, but you'd have to leave that combination on while you went inside and did whatever it was you needed to do. However, this isn't true. You can simply use an RS NOR latch. I've set that up here. I've already put in the combination except for one lever. As you can see, when I flip the lever, the door is open. I can now reset the combination, go inside, press the button, and the door is closed. If you're interested in how the redstone combination lock works, you can check out the video on my channel. Over here I've built two different types of farms. A wheat farm and a sugarcane farm. They both have their own advantages and disadvantages. For instance, when you automatically harvest the sugarcane farm, as you can see, you don't actually get all the sugarcane into the water. Whereas over in the wheat farm, you get all the wheat and all the seeds, but of course you have to replant it all. Here I've built another version of an elevator, a completely vertical elevator. As you can see, it works pretty well. But, not quite as well as my other elevator. Hello, squids. This elevator works incredibly fast. It uses stairs and you have to hold shift while on it to sneak. But as you can see, it's incredibly fast. That's pretty much it for this video, but I've got one last thing to show. I hope you find some of this useful. Thanks for watching, and again, if you're interested in learning how these work or just trying them out, a link to download the map is in the description below.